The video presents how to respond to XDelphi surveys using a mobile device. The topic is the impact of artificial intelligence on the future of the Delphi method. The panel includes two surveys, one featuring future statements and the other scenarios. Let's start with the theses. A typical X Delphi question consists of three parts. First, the question is presented. Second, the statement is responded to on a scale, which in this case has two dimensions, transformativeness and scope of use. Thirdly, the respondent justifies their choice of answer by commenting. Panelists can also respond to others' comments, for example, by further commenting and giving thumbs up. Responses to XDelphi are made in the portrait orientation of the mobile device. The first part of the video, Future Statements, is recorded from a tablet and the second part from a phone. A few notes on navigation. Within a question, you move vertically in an up and down direction. And between questions, you move horizontally in a right-left direction. Let's take a closer look at the scale matrix. The blue box indicates the respondent's own position. The gray dots show how others have responded. The three colorful balls represent the distribution of all responses. The comment window contains a lot of information. Next to each comment, there is the respondent's anonymous identifier and in the top right corner, the coordinate of their scale response. Icons for liking, categorizing, and commenting on the comment are placed below the comment. If a comment has been responded to, it is indicated by a blue number. Let's recap. First, read the future statement carefully, then think and express in the two variable scale matrix how transformative you believe the statement's impact will be and how extensive that impact is. Third, and most importantly, the panelist shares their argument for their opinion. An active panelist is prepared to defend their stance with other respondents and is also willing to change their original position for good reasons. The second survey of the Delphi Methods Future Panel consists of four scenarios. The survey, like the entire panel, is open and accessible via a QR code. This survey's responses are observed using an Android phone and the minor differences in presentation compared to the first survey answered on a tablet are due to this. Each scenario has its own question, where panelists are asked to assess the likelihood and desirability of each scenario. In addition to the scale response, as in this survey, the most important part is the argumentation in favor of one's own position. In the final question, a four-field matrix is introduced, where the respondent's task is to choose their preferred scenario, which they are ready to work with. Responses to X Delphi questions can also be made selectively and at various stages. Panelists are encouraged to participate in the panel multiple times, as data accumulates continuously and the argumentation of others may lead to new thinking and action, which can be called group learning. Questions can also be browsed by scrolling through the ribbon at the bottom of the screen.